Hey love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for just being you, just pushing out positivity, you know, loving yourself, loving others, you know, just helping and trying to make the world great. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while, I have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell at the bottom, so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you are comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I'll love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you just have to tell me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction and if you feel like the video has been very informative to you and just gave you some good vibes you would love to share with a loved one or a friend please go ahead and do so and while you're at it give you know give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites as well and once again, thank you so much for showing the videos in my channel some love and support. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of the video today. And the uh, meditation music I'm listening to is, which is so peaceful too, it's very relaxing. It's called Zen music, relaxing music, calming music, stress relief music, peaceful music, relax 3384. And I will post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101 and past finding their inner peace. We have to find our inner peace because there's stuff that we go do that will make you plumb go crazy. Make you feel like, oh my gosh, my elevator don't go past the third floor you know my radio's not tuned you know why am i going through this stuff and how am i not going losing my dad on mine for going through this stuff i've gone through you have to ask yourself that because i mean we were some bad mamma jammas back in the day where we sit up here and sign this contract and say you know what put me in the most toughest roughest situation i'm gonna get through this I'm going to get through this. And you sit up here and said that. And you probably looking at yourself now like, what the hell was I thinking? But you know what? We have to find that inner peace within ourselves. We can't sit up here and I have to tell myself and I have to keep telling myself to tell myself and tell myself because we go through situations and it's like we keep going through situations and I know I'm talking about some stuff because my nose started to itch. It's like a psychic touch. Woo! Psychic touch that I need to get. But it's just like when we go through stuff like that, we have to recognize it. We have to realize, okay, you know, I'm going through this for a reason. You know, and it's hard to realize that at times. It really is. Because we go through things and we, we question ourselves. We question our faith. We, you know, faith gets pretty shaky at that point. Because it's like stuff that's supposed to test our faith. That lets you know, you can sit up here and say you have utmost faith in God and the universe and whoever you serve. But when it comes down to them things we get tested with, at times, you know, we'll go through stuff and trying to figure out, you know, why is this happening? You know, I need to find my inner peace. I have to make peace with myself. I have to make peace with others so I can get peace. And there's a lot of times where, where we'll sit up here and tell somebody we forgive them and apologize. Even a lot of times we're not even at fault. But we'll do that just for us to get that inner peace with ourselves. And a lot of people excuse me, will have, um, will wonder, like, why are you trying to, you know, these people did this and this and that to you, why are you making peace, you need to make peace, because if you don't, you'll sit up here and be thinking about this stuff all the time, making yourself mad, be ready to just go off and just kick somebody's butt over some situations that cannot be changed, because if it was meant to be changed, it would have happened. So it's just like, we have to make that inner peace for ourselves. We have to be able to be strong about the things that we go through because it tells a lot about people's character, the way people do things. And it, I mean, that's hard to hear sometimes, but that tells a lot about yourself. It takes a lot, you know, it, it's just like with my situation when people know the nitty gritty of the things that I went through. The responses I've got, they're like, Rosalind, if this would have been me, I would have did this, 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 and this. But you, when you get into a situation, you don't, you know, when we, we, we have a bad habit of, uh, like, when we go through stuff, we're like, oh, if I was in this situation, I wouldn't be doing this and this and that. You never know if you've never been placed in a situation like that before. You, you never know what you might go through, you know, if this situation happened to you. But it's just like... We have to be able to find that peace 
within ourselves. We can't allow people to have the keys to our life, that, that power over us to be able to pull strings, just to be able to say, oh, okay, I got this person, or oh, you know, this I got this person up under my grasp. Because there's a lot of times we deal with people like that. They just want to control you. You know, I, I see it, I've dealt with it, you know, there's times that, you know, I'll catch myself get back in that situation, I have to reel myself out, like, oh, no, 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 I will not go through this, no, no more, no more. So you have to be able to tell yourself that, you have to find that inner peace within yourself, make peace within yourself, because there's only one you. <laughs> you cannot sit up here and be angry about things you cannot change. If you can change them, then change them. But just, you know, rest assured, you have to be able to learn from the things that we go through. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. And happy Halloween, y'all. I I, this is my favorite time of year. I love all holidays, but this is my favorite time of year. I love all the movies. You know, you used to be able to go trick-or-treating. So I hope everybody is safe out there taking their ch children you know, trigger treating later on that um, this night when the, this video comes out. While well, me and my daughter are going to be watching scary movies all night and vegging out in front of the TV and scaring ourselves half of the death. So, I uh, hope you send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Be safe out there. Make sure everybody's checking their kids' uh, candy, which I hope y'all do anyway. And, you know, make sure y'all are in big groups when y'all are going out there trick or treating. Be safe because, you know, all the ghosts and goblins and ghouls out there. But, anyway, so now much uplifting, healing abundance, comforting vibes, healing vibes, loving vibes, especially if you truly need them. And I'm giving my post notification shout out to. Who am I going to say today? Um, Amanda Lee Blackwood, much love to you, sis. I hope you're having a blessed week and, you know, a relaxing time and, you know, good things are coming your way. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites. Drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life. And sending you towards a positive direction. And drop me a line and let me know what you're going to be doing um, later on tonight for Halloween are you going to the movies you know anybody want to go see the new Halloween movie is very good I recommend that and the nun movie was very good if you haven't seen that yet if you're interested in watching any scary movies and so if y'all know about any new ones that are coming out and I know possession of Han Hannah Hannah Grace that one's coming out next month in a couple weeks and I can't wait to see that one so if y'all haven't seen that preview yet and you're interested in horror movies that's a good one to check out and the prodigy that looks like that's going to be good as well so i will see y'all my next video much love to you peace and be wow